Also as well, like what I'll never forget about the experience of this episode was obviously we know that the end of it, we don't know what happens with Bill and Frank, but we know that Frank ends up like hating Bill's guts. And as it kind of went on, I had this feeling of dread the entire time of like, how Jer- is this going to get to there? Like, what I was fuck? just about to say this about the episode. Like, that's why I want to rewatch it without this feeling of terror of I'm like, <laughs> oh, he's going to, someone's going to die here or something really shit's going to happen. Yeah. Um. So just being able to rewatch it with like, oh no, this ends tragically but very romantically and nice like uh but yeah and also i love the touch as well where if nobody resets the music it just keeps on playing the 80s uh, tune as well yes. for trouble um i loved that too that was a nice little touch they put in but yeah there's the the the, the sense of dread of like yes. uh what's gonna happen here how is this, this is so beautiful <laughs> how is it gonna go so horrible where they hate each other and yeah. you know what in the game now because these this is my bill and frank this is my head cannon now fuck the game like you know what yeah, i mean exactly um, because this is so touching so now i'm like frank's a bit of an unappreciative dickhead <laughs> <laughs> all, all bill did was care for him like, <laughs> um, also so, yeah, fair play to them for not really having that much attacks on their fence in 10 years yeah it, it's a really good <laughs> fence it's that yeah. coil it's that coil that y'all got him. he gets some good shit baby yeah.